welcome back to TTC. We've investigated bull claims from flashlights that should rival the sun, and aftermarket truck horns that by their specs should lead to a literal Armageddon. Today by popular demand in the comments section we're looking at laser pointers sold on Amazon. Are these cheap products advertised for office use in the classroom and for your cat Fluffy safe to play with? No, no, no they're not. But after measuring their precise power, are any of these even legal to sell on the website? Will your home discotheque dreams be dashed? Disclaimer, these can be sketchy. Please don't play around with lasers without well-specced eye protection, as even if they are provided with the cat toys you're purchasing, those toys may be packing some real eye and pet punishing power. We chose all the examples you'll see here because for the most part, they had a common theme of targeting a casual customer looking for a laser pointer and advertised being great for things like use around kids in a classroom, hiking, for playing with pets, or even just say flashlight. Nothing about being potentially blinding laser, just that you would use it like a flashlight. Speaking of eye protection, if you plan to peruse any of the lasers beyond the legal limit we're showing today, we bought this pair linked below because we saw encouraging testing on it elsewhere on YouTube and have the equipment here now to verify that it does work with the laser spectrums we'll be testing. In order of price, we have first the Muenso 3-pack for $14. It comes with red, blue, and green laser pointer options and takes two AAA batteries. These are fairly simple and look like what most pencil pointers seem to do. So much so, in fact, that we accidentally bought a second 3-pack option we thought was different yet was delivered as the same three laser pointers, just in different packaging. After all, this is the best-selling alkaline battery pet toy on Amazon, so let's take a look. So while the sale of high-powered lasers for equipment manufacturing, laser cutters, and stuff like optical drives is not regulated here in the States, the sale of lasers like handheld laser pointers on a website like Amazon, and especially ones not explicitly stating not for use in public spaces, those are limited to 5 milliwatts, or 0.05 watts. It's not illegal to own higher-powered examples, but to sell one in general, it is. This Laser BAX laser power meter we purchased will allow us to accurately measure these pet toys and classroom pointers up to 3,100 milliwatts or 3.1 full watts. This needs 35 plus seconds to get an accurate reading, so that will allow us to sort of dyno each of these examples head to head in our usual fashion. Up first is the red laser from the $14 Muenso set, and surprisingly, as advertised, the laser toy for pets makes around 5 milliwatts. This reading means it's fairly safe outside of just bathing your eyes in it for some period of time. Next up is the blue laser cat toy from the same set. This one doesn't look very impressive in person, but let's see how it measures. So the blue shoots up past the 5 milliwatt mark quickly, eventually settling down into the 40s, 43 milliwatts max, certainly over the legal limit for sale, not super spicy, but maybe don't want this near your pet's eyes too much. Last up in the pack is green. The green in person is noticeable for sure, like it's not messing around compared to the other two. And the power meter agrees, this thing shoots up like a rocket compared to the last two. Just some simple AAA batteries powering this one that they show children playing around with in their advertisements and it spikes up to 70, 80, 87 milliwatts. And with a fresh pair of batteries we saw as much as 96 playing around with this one. And playing around being something you probably shouldn't do around anyone's eyeballs at least, or even indoors with cats as they're saying in the product title, that would be a legal measurement for the red Muenso, 38 milliwatts over or 8.6 times the legal level for the blue, and an average of 88 or 18.5 times the legal limit for the green. That's pretty spicy for this little thing. Now is 96 near 100 milliwatts impressive compared to dedicated hobbyist type lasers people aim at to burn things? Definitely not, but it is enough to pop a balloon as we found, which the blue wasn't. So maybe don't use this one around senior purrs. While the green example wasn't able to be seen in the sky on a foggy day, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy our own fog machine for the occasion, you know, strictly for scientific reasons just to better understand our products of course. This is a very visible beam. Since human eyes in particular are sensitive to green light, that roughly 100 milliwatt toy can cause eye injury to about 200 feet away. Next up, some dedicated rechargeable laser pointers in non three packs. And by price at $18, that would be this red laser pointer. And I'm using pointer loosely from here on out. Also from Wenso, this one, the bastion of pet toys this brand is. Their long range USB rechargeable laser pointer pen for teaching hunting outdoor astronomy. 
that and in the features they note four cats rechargeable laser pointer for cats dogs but also not suitable for children to play with so just your poor pets the red $18 Muenso as a dedicated rechargeable does make more laser beams, climbing above its green brother quickly, making as much as 128 milliwatts, substantially more overall. Though in person this one does look a little bit less, because we're more sensitive to green than red or blue, but that doesn't make it less harmful prone to injure your eyes when you're close up. That 123 milliwatts over is 26 times the legal limit of what a retailer is allowed to sell. Next up at $21 is a new brand and another green example, the Fobsurd. This comes with a fun disco lens pre-attached and it's micro USB rechargeable from the rear. The name on this one is Long Range Laser Presentation Remotes for Classroom Teaching, Brighter, Clicker, Training, Exercise. And it's the first one you can see during the day in the sky on a foggy morning. So hopefully your classroom is outside. The Fobsurd ratchets up the danger even further for its extra $3 and passes the rest up to 136 milliwatts, though it's the first sort of to trail off and the battery inside likely not very big, possibly dropping in voltage. With the help of the smoke machine, it's even clearer how pronounced this one is. That's enough for 131 milliwatts over or 27 times the legal limit. And in the reviews, one says, cat loves it. <laughs> Of course, it's not like your fur ball is going to catch a blaze with this thing. We're not there yet, at least. But come on. All these brands have to say 5 milliwatts or under if they want to advertise any power at all, so you have no idea what you're really getting when you buy one. And the blame shouldn't be on the consumer. I took the same risk. Our four-year-old daughter already had one of these for playing with the cat, and it is a flashlight and laser pointer with several shapes you can scroll through. As soon as we got this laser power meter, I know I was curious, and luckily it is the lowest so far. This $10 toy puts out a very reasonable 4 to 5 milliwatts. I just suggest maybe let your pet catch something real before you're done playing with them. But that toy you own could be blinding too, no real guarantee as we've seen. Okay, next up is the $22 Solid Craft, a rare sort of overseas Amazon brand name that sounds pretty decent, I think. This one comes in a tactical pelican looking case, but is far from it, and uses an 18650 battery that comes in a single 18650 cell charger. This one's spelled laser with a Z in this product name and says tactical everywhere, so we stepped out of our classroom and pets category for once to really impress our friends with this one. And in keeping with Amazon delivering the opposite of what you expect, this $22 solid craft besmirched its well-sounding brand name and tactical roots to deliver the least powerful laser thus far under the $5 a piece cat toy AAA version. Which I mean, I guess that's good. We after all are measuring how dangerous these are compared to the legality of selling them at all, but you'll have to forgive me for expecting more for your money based on the trend we've seen so far. That's 72 milliwatt over or 15 times the legal limit. Okay, time to jump up in price and presumably feline fun with our next two $56 and $68 options. This first being the DVD model titled Blue Flashlight Sports Suit and Hiking Indoor Outdoor Camping. So it's a blue flashlight for indoor camping. Got it. This one comes in a rather fancy case so you know it's the real deal hiking equipment and a pair of protective goggles with it. Very responsible. Theoretically, these goggles work ish i mean they do allow at least twice as much the milliwatt legal limit as a laser pointer and it gets better at it as the laser burns the previously lens and now bubbling puddle of plastic our pair didn't let any milliwatts through but realistically this is sort of how safety glasses work they themselves become damaged rather than damaging you though i wouldn't risk it on one of these pairs and damaging things this blue flashlight i'm doing air quotes right now does like shown on our mat here it takes two 16340 batteries, which we researched for the highest discharge rate ones of those we could find and bought some of those as well in case we could pump things up. The DBD hates wood too. It's not the type of thing you want to turn on until you really know what you plan to point it at for any amount of time. This one also shows up quite clearly on a foggy morning. So let's see what it can do versus the others. And uh, yeah, it's a big difference. 800, 900, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, well over a watt. Looking at the others here, this blue flashlight is certainly the flashiest. 1,510 milliwatts or 1.5 watts this laser is. That could cause eye injury out to around 1,000 feet, 
which I guess makes sense if you can basically light things on fire with it. Now, unfortunately, using baller high discharge rate cells in the DBD didn't yield anything more. Or fortunately, I guess it depends on how you look at it. I forget which way we're rooting for here again. And using an 18650 instead makes this weak due to half the voltage, but more capacity. Swapping the cheap 1300 milliamp hour 18650 out of the solid craft for some better options also did not yield any extra, so these really do need to be modded at their boards to be hot rotted. But that means in stock form, this model is a cool 1505 milliwatts over, or 302 times the legal limit. Okay, last up from a brand name you can't question, technology. The portable blue flashlight sports set outdoor camping, hunting, and hiking torch. And torch being the overseas word for flashlight, not torch as in what it's about to do to your table. This is also in a tactical fake looking plastic case and no protective eyewear this time. You just gotta roll the dice, I guess. This aluminum rod surrounded laser design has been around for quite some time, but it's mainly been seen on eBay, you know, where risk takers are used to buying these things. Not on Amazon listed under flashlights like this specific one was. First selling four months ago on the website. So of course this one does do some table scorching. It hates wood with even more contempt now. And you can pop balloons with this one, but from 50 feet away. It's also great for creative art projects for, you know, your next show and tell. A long range pencil, if you will, assuming you don't mind the extra speed holes. So let's drag race it versus the DBD. It's a close battle, but the $68 technology brings the blue beans. It earns its scary appearance by climbing up past 1.5 watts up to 1,676 milliwatts by the buzzer. This hiking flashlight, at least on a foggy hiking trail, would provide quite a bit of illumination. And luckily this is one of the few product pages that does not mention pets anywhere on it. 1,671 milliwatts over or 335 times the legal limit to sell one of these the way they are. So there you have it. As a simple pet toy, I'd recommend the one my family just by the luck already own because I found the three pack ones fall apart quickly and this one is safe. For these others, while I make a handheld disco ball to match our fog machine atmosphere, it's worth reminding you it's not illegal to buy your own high powered laser as a hobbyist just to sell them like they are on the website and assuming they're going to continue to because nothing usually changes. So have those goggles rated for your laser's wavelength at the ready, avoid aircraft and footballers, and go have some fun. Just maybe leave the animals out of this one. Thanks for watching.